Coachella Fury began about five years ago. Ben Simon and I have been performing together and we decided after college that we wanted to kind of branch out from the classical world and play rock music. The cello world is pretty small in Pittsburgh, so we knew each other, we studied with some of the same teachers from the Pittsburgh Symphony, and what started out as playing cover songs eventually evolved into original compositions, and now our group is going strong with three cellos and a drummer. When I originally started playing cello, it was my goal was to be um, a symphony musician or a chamber musician, and towards the end of high school I had a few opportunities presented to me to do arrangements for cello quartet of popular songs, rock songs, that kind of thing. And it kind of opened up another outlet in my mind for music in general, not just cello, but music in general. I feel like I'm the person in the group who's, I have my foot more in the classical side of things. Until I got to college, I didn't really play any other styles other than classical. So I started playing with some singer-songwriters, learning how to improvise, which was really a great experience. And then when we got together with the band, I started to uh, actually play more rock music. So I was pretty young when I started experimenting with rock music. I was around like 10 or 11, and that became definitely the background for Cello Fury. Even though my main focus was classical cello, I definitely had that rock edge kind of sitting in the back of my head. When we decided we wanted to really put on a rock show, we realized that we did want to have a drummer. Previously, it was just the cellos, and it sounded great, and we still perform with just the cellos, and we still rehearse mainly with just the cellos, but we wanted to add a really heavy sound. It's a very edge of your seat sound. I think my style works just because I'm schooling a lot of different styles of, of playing, um, from jazz to rock to Latin music, and their music brings all these elements together, so I try to use all my different influences to, to, to be dynamic within the group, from whisper soft to roaring loud and everything in between. This is our 60th school show this year. It's kind of interesting because we do a lot of outreach concerts going into schools and that was one of the big reasons I picked the cello. There was a group of high school kids who came to my school and I just became fascinated with the cello. We work with three different outreach groups right now. First and foremost, Gateway to the Arts in Pittsburgh. Gateway to the Arts. We were founded in 1957 um, by a group of symphony string players who wanted to bring classical music into the schools. And today with the cuts in the music programs, we feel that our work is uh, especially important, making sure that the performing and visual arts are a part of every child's education. I love playing in the and school. David is on the drum. Where's David at? All right. I remember being in like third or fourth grade and a puppet show coming to my school and they had like a drummer that did the sound effects and also played some drums. And I just remember being just so taken by that. It's always really nice to see that the kids have such a strong reaction to what we're doing and they realize that cello can be cool. And it's a viable and, and very fun and rewarding route to go. It's really important to play for the young kids and hopefully inspire somebody the same way I was inspired. our sound system. We turned it off so you were hearing the cello the way it could have been played hundreds of years ago. We've had some great success stories too of schools a year or two later when we return they have an emergence of young cello players and young string players after seeing our program. We get frequent emails and Facebook posts and all these other things about you know my kid has been trying out some of your techniques and standing up and and all these little things that we do in our performances. And it's really nice to see that we're having, you know, a strong and positive impact on musicians just in general. I think at first, if you see a group with three cellos and drums, it can be a little bit of a novelty, but I feel like we are a strong group in our own right, past the fact that we have a cello as the main instrument. the more we travel, the more gigs we get, and we're just hoping that if we keep working really hard, we'll continue to be successful. I just want to continue playing all the time. It's just, it's a dream come true. For more
more information on when you can see Cello Fury perform or to learn more about its band camps or outreach programs, go to our website at wqed.org slash Pittsburgh 360.